Okay, so today we're going to be tying the finesse football head finesse style jig uh, in a crawfish pattern. Uh, I was inspired to tie this jig by small jaw, so this one goes out to small jaw. So in the vise, we have a one quarter ounce football head, uh, brown colored, mottled brown colored uh, jig. It has a Eagle Claw Pro V Aberdeen three out hook. And I've also uh, drilled in the uh, hole for, or actually widened the hole for the um, weed guard, which I'll add in later. So to get started, we're gonna start with uh, UTC 140 olive colored thread. And I'm gonna lay down a thread base here on the keeper area, actually above the keeper area. Lay down a nice base there. And that's where we're gonna tie in our bucktail. So this jig is mostly um, bucktail. It's actually bucktail and um, a little bit of silicone and some flash. And I like to pair it with, uh, with a chunk trailer um, or a pork trailer if I have it. And uh, it's really good for cold water. It's done well for me, especially in this color pattern. Uh, there are a number of different color patterns you can try, but this, this is my favorite here. So I'm gonna start with um, some olive bucktail and this is actually a really nice uh, bucktail you can see it's got a lot of fibers here that are that are good for uh, that are going to be good for motion in the water so I want this to extend probably a little bit out, out past the hook so I'm gonna find a nice little section here And this is going to be layered, so it doesn't need to be, you can tie it more sparse than thick. So that's what I tend to like to do. There's our bucktail. So we're gonna start with this olive. I'm gonna lay that down. That looks pretty good like that. And then I'm gonna put my wraps in. looks good it could be even a little thicker than that if you'd like oh good let's get that stray hair right there so that's the bottom part uh, the next step is to um, overlay this olive bucktail with um, the I like the brown um, the brown bucktail part of this orange bucktail. So not the real orange part, this brown brownish part that's actually very orange as well. And uh, you can get these pieces at uh, Cabela's. They have like a grab, a grab bucket that has many, many of these uh, different colors. So it's a good way to use, um, to get the, the colors that you, that you want to use in different flies that you might not um, be using a lot of like red uh, maybe you'll use red, but like blue and certain colors like that, green, like greenish color, Kelly green, orange, um, those kind of things. Anyway, so this is the craw color. I'm going to put this, I'm going to spread this out. Over the olive. So I'm going to give one wrap and then a second wrap just like I did the first time. And then I'm just going to work this around, tighten it down as we go.
pretty good there. So I'm just going to wrap this, get the, secure these uh, ends here. Being careful not to block the spot for the uh, weed guard, which I did actually. So I'm going to try to cut those out without cutting my thread. And I can always cut that later. So I'll finish up my wraps here. All right, next step. I'm gonna take some gold crystal flash, cut it in half. Actually, I'll take them both. I got two, two strands, two full strands of gold crystal flash. And this is gonna distribute out through the bucktail. So I'm gonna cut them in half. All right, so I'm gonna take these two half strands and put them there like so. Give it one wrap and a second wrap and then distribute these back this way so that they are even amongst the bucktail. And then we're gonna do the other side. So repeat on the side. I will uh, trim those down to size a little bit later. And there we go. One wrap, two wrap, and distribute. And trim. I don't want them longer than the bucktail, really. Just to be intermingled in there. There we go. Like so. Looks nice. And the final step. Okay, we're gonna take our um, silicone. This is a root beer colored, hot tipped root beer colored silicone. This is a half tab, uh, silly legs. So what I'm gonna do, I like the orange on the bottom to represent the claws. So I'm gonna start like this. Wanna make sure I have the, the uh, thread going around the full tab or half tab. And then I'm gonna bring this back down like so and wrap. But I wanna make sure, I actually missed it there. Make sure it's secure first. Try that again. Be a little tricky here. And make sure I got all the legs secured. I'm gonna give it a double check there. It looks good. like to check to make sure that I'm not trapping any errant um, silicone. I also like to distribute this down so that it's, you know, 
work it down so it gets fully around the jig. That looks good. And if you tighten down, you can make it flare out a little bit more. All right, so it's time to whip finish. What I like to do is take a clip here and actually clip that down like so, and then clip this this way so that I can whip finish it easier. And I just do a finger whip finish. One, two, three, four. And finally, I like to put on some super glue. It's better for the, uh, the silicone. It doesn't leave that white residue on it. So we can just hit that in there and there that'll do it and we gotta let that dry okay that should be dry enough so what i'm going to do is free up some of these legs here so just by there we go doing that let's pull them tight so they They're all free of one another. And then finally, cut these here, just like so. Are they all free there? One more. And that's your finished, well, almost finished, finesse hair jig. Let's see if I can get that out. it right there um, this one's gonna have the weed guard I had to cut out a little bit of the uh, the hair here That's it with the weed garden. I'll glue that in with some uh, gel type super glue. And um, this is the finished jig with a super chunk junior on it. If you can see that there. You can do a smaller finesse jig. This is a cinnamon purple, but it looks nice. You know, if you want a little bit more of a finesse action you can just use a smaller jig little little finesse chunk or i actually in the cold weather i like to use the um the uh a pork chunk you know it's uh, it's real nice with a pork chunk so a little a small one and that's what you see in the video after this uh, tying video uh, thanks for watching and um, take this one down to the water this will definitely catch them you can mix it up in different colors uh, actually the one in the video is uh, is a darker olive and brown variant that I made but this this one is uh, in one of my other videos as well it's a uh, you know great where they're a crawfish give it a try thanks for watching There's a fish. There's one. Oh, yeah. He took my chunk. One, one pounder took my chunk. Did you eat that?
little guy. I gotta go get my my bait back. Get in there. Got him in close. Little bass. Okay. A little bit of gold on him. <clears throat> Caught him good. Right there, put him back. 